thank you for watching my channel. I really appreciate it. I uh, appreciate all the feedback, comments, and everything that we get via all the different uh, social media connections that we have. I wanted to do a video for you guys um, because I get asked a lot of different questions from buyers specifically about the buying process and how different difficult it is and what kind of there's first time home buyer programs or uh, teachers programs or anything specifically like that. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to put a video together for you guys so you guys would see some of the different lending process that there are, lending options that there are. So what I did is I got John Schutze from Supreme Lending to come out and do a video for us. Um, he'll basically talk to you about the different you know loan programs and things like that. So uh, if you feel like there's something specific to you that you want to talk about, uh, you can contact me. My information is listed below. Um, via Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, or call me or email me. Um, so uh, basically just an informational video for you guys to go watch. So without further ado, here's John Schusey with Supreme Lending. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you for following us and sharing and uh, look forward to see working with you soon. Hey Manny, it's uh, John Schutz over at Supreme Lending. Uh, thanks for uh, reaching out to me uh, to talk, uh, to introduce your clients uh, about some of the lending options that are out there and just kind of discuss the lending market. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, I'm John Schutze with Supreme Lending. I've been in Austin for 11 and a half years as a mortgage banker. And uh, generally what we've seen, or I've seen, is just rates started in the seven to, you know, six and a half, seven percent uh, back in around, you know, 2001. And they've continued to go down every year since then. There have been some spikes where they've gone up a little bit, but we're still well under four uh, percent. And it's just an amazing time to buy a home. Uh, I have many borrowers that still come to me thinking that they need to put you know, even 20% down. I, have, I hear that quite often that, that, that people need 20% down to buy a house and it's just not the case. In fact, if you put less money down, the other perception is, hey, if I put less money down, I'm going to be penalized in some way uh, where it's going to cost me a lot more money or the rate's going to be higher and it's just not the case. Uh, for example, we have a 3% down conventional loan right now. Uh, you can buy a house up to $417,000 with this program and it's only 3% down and the rate is, for most borrowers, 3.75%. It's really an amazing program. Uh, you know, for example, that's a 400, you could, let's just say a round number's 400,000 our house with 3% down, that'd be $12,000 down. Uh, it, it's really an amazing time. And by the way, the, the payment on that, uh, depending on the tax and insurance, will be around $3,000. So the time is, is really, uh, the time to buy is really now. And I just know, uh, you know, Manny and, and me, we're not that old, you know, but to remember uh, rates in the uh, in the teens, but uh, they're going to go up at some point, maybe not to the teens, but we're going to get back up to that six or seven range. That seems to kind of be the historic average. Uh, if you look back at, at year, you know, history, last hundred years of history, uh, the rates we're at now are just unnaturally low and they'll come back up eventually. Uh, and waiting will really cost a lot. For one thing, we're in a very hot market. Austin uh, is appreciating uh, most contracts, especially in the inside uh, the Austin City uh, area. And even when you get out to Round Rock and, and, and South, uh, you're beginning to see multiple offers. In Pflugerville, for example, uh, almost every uh, contract that I'm seeing come across my desk, uh, I'm hearing stories from the agent and the buyers that there was at least one other offer that was on the table. So the values are going up. It's only going to get better. This market's hot. So I think it's fair to say we know that the, the market is going to is already heated up and it's going to continue to get hot, which means values will slowly go up. So waiting costs you money in terms of value. But more importantly, I think, waiting can really cost you a lot in terms of the monthly payment if rates go up or when they go up. Uh, if you waited a couple of years, let's just put aside that you might have lost 5% per year conservatively in, in appreciation. Uh, if the rate went up to, say, 7%, uh, that would add $500 to an average, say, a $250,000 home. It would be $500 more money every month. That's $6,000 a year uh, by waiting for the rates to go up. So, uh, you know, now is really the time to buy. Some other programs we have that are uh, available, uh, we have a zero down uh, bond program. There's a couple of those out there. You can buy anywhere in Texas uh, for zero down. There's some income limitations on that, but uh, for most uh, families, that could be up as high as eighty to ninety thousand dollars in income, uh, and you could still qualify for that program. There's another program for teachers, firefighters, uh, and EMS workers, uh, police officers as well, and that's a zero down program. Uh, that that uh, the rate is uh, in the three point seven five percent range. Uh, so, zero down is not a problem for many borrowers. Uh, low down payment is not a problem. 
uh, you know, it's just it's it's really the time to buy. And I would just encourage um, anybody that's that's watching this to just touch base with Manny, have him connect you with me or, or another lender, and and uh, just find out what your options are.